Okay, I am back, everyone. Thank you for the uh, feedback that you can hear me. And again, comment your messages or uh, questions below. This will be a quick live as this is a trial. And I am just uh, interested in your feedback on this study that I found in 2016 uh, for uh, 2016 paper on the land use planning capacity of local governments. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will tackle the top three issues in CLUP preparation according to local government planners. Uh, hopefully you can hear me and uh, you are able to understand me clearly despite internet connectivities. So this study is by uh, Kitalig and Orale 2016. I will give an overview later, but I know that you are curious what these top three issues in GLP preparation are. So let's get that immediately. According to the study, there are three top issues identified by the Municipal uh, Planning Devel and Development Count uh, involved in officials of the summer LGUs in comprehensive land use planning preparation. So these are one, the absence of a GIS specialist. Second, multitasks, multiple tasks assigned to the MPDCs or the Municipal Plan and Development Coordinators and insufficiently qualified staff. So these are the three top issues that were identified by the local government unit planners of the summer province, according to the study of Kitali Orale in 2016. What is your reaction to this? Do your LCUs or do you know of any study that is in coherence or agrees with these findings? So before we go further, let me give you a background of the study. So the study was conducted by, uh, was uh, the paper was authored by two uh, people from the Samar province. So one being a member of the uh, Provincial Planning and Development Office and second being a uh, part of the Samar State University. So uh, a little background, I found this while also uh, writing my research in uh, relation to a fellowship uh, when I was teaching still in UP. So this, the title of the paper is a Comprehensive Land Use Planning Capacity of Local Government Units in Summer Philippines. The goal of the study was to present in a descriptive form the issues and concerns of the local government planners of the province of Samar. So an overview of the study, the positions of the respondents are of the following uh, composition. Most of the respondents are MPDCs. So almost half, uh, one fourth, sorry, almost one fourth of the respondents are MPDCs, while almost uh, around 14% are MPDC staff members of the Development Council of the province, city, or municipal government. It's interesting to note that the respondents also include uh, members of the local development council that are not necessarily in the planning positions like the nurses or principals or civil society groups but are part of the local development council. In my view, this may have influenced the uh, findings of the study. The length of land use planning experience. So most of the surveyed respondents at that time, around 65% uh, had zero to four years of land use planning experience. So they may be uh, not really knowledgeable of the inner workings of the local government dynamics in land use planning. So for the lead planners, most of them are uh, 10 to 14 years 
in the uh, planning experience. So I think this could have also had an influence in the uh, findings of the study. So uh, with the issues in enumerated earlier, the top being the absence of a GIS specialist, multitasking uh, assigned to MPDCs and sufficiently qualified staff. These were the study's recommendations. We will go back to this slide later so we can uh, have some more discussions on it, deeper discussions on it. So the study recommendations are first to incentivize CLUP preparation and updating. Secondly, is that the government should introduce a capacity development program with corresponding funding. So I think these study recommendations are, uh, would, it would be beneficial to discuss these study recommendations while also seeing the uh, other uh, parts, other factors, or other issues raised by the respondents in terms of CLUP preparation. So let's see. Uh, oh, sorry. So what can I do to enlarge this? And so I hope you can see that uh, the most of the uh, the a large the the respondents were asked uh, to rank their uh, land use planning issues and problems according to major problems, minor problems, and not not really a problem. So you can see that in the full paper by Kitalig and Orale. I will put the link in the comment, or I will post it with this video, with the recording of, of this video. So it's important to, I think it would be good to discuss and to share my thoughts on these three issues identified as major problems by the respondents. So first is the absence of a GIS specialist. More than half of the respondents uh, raised this as a major problem. As you can see in the, uh, number nine it's identified as issue number nine so i think gis is an underrated uh, methodology and tool for land use planning but i think also that the absence of a gis specialist in the local government unit is uh, the more easily one of the more easily remedied uh, problems or issues, especially with uh, open source information, uh, open source applications that are available and also uh, geographic tools and uh, web platforms that are uh, available online, free and uh, open access. So one example is the OpenStreetMap platform, which is a, I know is a great use for uh, our local government unit planners, and also uh, the application QGIS, which is a uh, open source free alternative to the expensive and proprietary ArcGIS software. So I think this major problem should have uh, should be easily resolved by one uh, hiring a consultant for GIS, and secondly hiring a consultant for GIS who can capacitate someone with a volunteer position in the local government unit. The second issue that was identified, the second top issue identified by LGU planners in this study is the multitasking or multiple tasks assigned to the MPDC, which in the table is in number six. So overloading of assignments to the MPDC. I believe this is more of an institutional issue that is complex and 
cannot be resolved by the local government itself because of certain limitations in uh, uh, local government funding requirements. So one example is the personal services cap or limitations because of uh, to safeguard the personnel, uh, the, sorry, the portion of the local government fund that is allotted to personal services. So I think uh, I, I, re I recently also attended, I just attended the forum of the UPCLRG on the Mandanas ruling. And I think the overloading of assignments may or may not be resolved by the effects of the Mandanas ruling. What do you think will the Mandanas ruling resolve this particular uh, major problem identified in the CLUP preparation? Or is this uh, problem still uh, occurring or still in your uh, it's, is this is it still uh, being felt in your local government unit? I think most of the MPDCs are also designated as senros or at, uh, at times even uh, general service officers or even uh, what else uh, planning officers or uh, uh, sorry zoning officers. So I think that's one institutional. Uh, that that problem can be resolved by an institutional uh, mechanism. So, uh, third is insufficiently qualified staff. I think this is connected with the profile of the respondents being uh, relatively new to the land use planning exercise. Most of them are zero to four years in the land use planning exercise, and as such, they have uh, this ideal sort of ideal qualifications for the planning and development staff or uh, staff that are involved in the CLUP process. If you read the whole study, they uh, the respondents do not really have a problem with the knowledge of those involved in the CLUP process, but rather the technical capability of those who are involved. So I think this is... Uh, more of uh, an effect of the respondent profile of the study. However, uh, the local government can be uh, good, uh, can be can benefit from uh, additional qualifications of the staff through having uh, continuous and targeted capacity development programs which can be connected to problem one. So it's more, more GIS is more than just mapping. It's uh, data management. And uh, it's important that local governments have data, not only in accessible form, but also easily updated forms. So uh, the main uh, for me, if I would recommend a capacity development program for local government planners, it would be on using GIS as a data management application, especially QGIS and the, the uh, ability to join tables and manage uh, spatial information like uh, the CBMS or other uh, record records of the local government unit. So these three issues are really important to see that this uh, to see as not unsolvable. So there are institutional, administrative, and even technical or capacity development uh, solutions to these problems identified by local government planners. I have this personal bias that the local government planning process is driven by the chief executive and it is 
uh, it lies with the chief executive uh, through the powers given to him, given to them uh, of the local government code to mobilize resources uh, through the uh, local development council and also influencing or uh, even negotiating with the local Sangunian to pass laws, ordinances, and prioritize funding in uh, resolving problems that can uh, improve their planning processes. So what do you think? How can these issues be resolved by LGUs? Again, if you are just joining, we are uh, this. Uh, I am presenting a study by Kitalig and Orale in 2016 that presents the top issues of local government planners in summer in their preparation of their comprehensive land use plans. I presented three issues, three of the three the top three issues identified by the study. First is the absence of a GIS specialist. Second is the multiple tasks assigned to the Municipal Planning and Development Council, a coordinator. And third is the quote-unquote insufficiently qualified staff. Again, thank you for joining this uh, short live broadcast. We discussed or we, uh, we delved into the comprehensive land use planning concerns of uh, LGUs in summer, according to a 2016 study by Kitalig and Orale. So watch out for more resources on comprehensive land use planning and also environmental planning in general at enptino.com. What do you think of this episode? Send me a message at emptino.com. Also, follow me on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.